Well, the need has came arise that I need a vice on the welding table, a permanent fixture. Bolted, bolted it down. So I need to drill some holes. I'm just going to tell you this. It's like an intro. Drill some holes in that half inch plate. It ain't easy. It's some kind of armor plate. So, you know, therein arises the need for another tool to get that job done. But, Craftman, uh, made over in England, you know, it's number four. But I'm okay with these being here, and also, well, uh, th th this one is, uh, I like this. This is that made in England there, number four. Uh, it's quite popular. It's got some slack in it, but it works for me. And also, that, but I don't use this fast very much because it's not on a swivel base swivel base the um, if you do any vice work at all you, you will soon find the need for a swivel, swivel base I mean it's in constant use to swivel here if you are working file work say or hacksaw position um, and this year you you can find to a position. I, I'm not, I don't I don't care for that, but it comes in handy. Occasionally, uh, you would want to turn this, rotate this one this way, and then rotate this one over here this way, and put a long object across there and work the whole object would be an asset if I had a swivel base here. Uh, all the benches are the same height. Oh yeah, and the reason well uh, well <laughs> I got distracted there. Uh, the reason for the video, I'm going to saw this off right here. I built this some time ago, and it's a battery and a buzz coiler, and so the battery's uh, 20 years old, so I'm going to saw it off. It's off now, and put another one on. Get that done. I, uh, electrolysis. Removing rust with electricity, so to speak. Electrolysis. Had this tank going here for a very, very long time. Have parts in it every day. Kind of like a routine. Clean parts and then put parts back in it. Tomorrow, clean parts, put parts back in it. But, uh, I, I've just let this run here for about a week now with these parts that's in there. I think it's a mixer. So, actually, I've been in there about uh, 10 days uh, with the activity like you've seen it there. And I did come by a couple days ago and add a gallon of water to it. But uh, we, we, we'll look at them, uh, them parts we got in there and see what we got. A little tip is uh, when you... Uh, cleaning these parts with the war wheel or a brush uh, and then blow them dry with the air pressure the uh, you know don't take them all out at once because they will re-rust because you've got clean metal there but if you dry them they won't just say it but the interesting thing that I noticed just a second ago is I have used these long enough that these are about three inches wide and about a half inch thick there and nothing down here. I got them up at Portland one year. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's where them come from at that end of sale up for a tri-state. But they're, they're completely, this side is completely deteriorated. <laughs> Quite interesting. Now you don't want this to be a making contact with that either. Uh, 2.1. It's going to take it loose. Now, it will, but we've still got this electrode over here in activity. So that's what's causing the, the uh, whatever you call it. But we'll disconnect that and point this up here. 
Oh yeah, I've got I've got two mixer bodies in there. Okay, I'm gonna go in there and run them on the water brush, and I'll show you what we got left. But I'm only gonna do one of them at one time. See, I'll come back and get that. And... Yeah, it's back in action. See, it, it'll fizz right back up there in a minute. But that water, you know, that's just some faucet water down there. And on the initial, oh, uh, going on a year, I expect. Uh, you know, I'll put a little bit of that washes soda in there, that arm and hammer, like, you know, a couple cups of it. Not only to get it started. Once it gets dirty, you don't have to add no more, more washing soda to it, you know. So, you know, I've used this for <laughs> ever how long with, uh, as it is. Just add some water to it every bit, get stronger.